guys welcome back to my channel it's maya i am filming another reading vlog today i haven't filmed one in a hot minute and you guys have been asking one for a few weeks already so finally it's currently 11 46 a.m and i didn't have anything to do today because i already like, did all the major things that i had to do this week and last week and i just didn't know what to do today so i was like might as well film a reading vlog because i need to make and edit a video this week anyway and yeah it's been a while since i just read during the day because usually i read at night before bed but i'm pretty excited too because the book that i'm currently reading is pretty fun so yeah That I'm currently reading is Traded to the Throne, which is book two of Rebel of the Sands. I really liked Rebel of the Sands. It did take me quite a little while to finish, but it was really fun and I loved it. it I think the series is so underrated. Um, and I finally picked up the second book because I got it for New Year's. Thank you to my brother Mark for getting this for me. And I am currently on page 122. I'm actually getting through this book quicker than I thought I would. It's like continuing on their adventure. Sometimes the second book in a fantasy series can act as a bridge between the first and third book and therefore the second book is not always the best. But in most cases for me, the second books are actually really fun. And same thing with this. This is pretty fun so far. And I was actually reading a different book before I started this. I was reading The Night Circus. It's kind of like upstairs in my nightstand and I am liking the night circus except for some reason around the middle I was getting more or less interested so I decided to pick up a new book which was this and for the longest time I was like no no just finish the night circus you can do this um but I just I was really craving this book from this series and just like you know that fantasy feel which this book perfectly gives off in my opinion so yeah let's continue reading Now I am just basking in the sunshine because it is quite warm for a January day. In the sunlight, it feels like it's around 70 to 80 degrees. So yeah, I'm just grateful for that and I'm just enjoying that fact and uh, laying in the sun. This looks like a funny angle. Feels like summer. I know. Good morning, guys. It's currently 12.33. Um, I didn't sleep this late. I slept until 12, but I just, like, stayed in bed. I have nothing to do anyway today. So my book is over there. And I didn't read last night, but I did read it um, during the day. There was, like, a major plot twist. So that was very interesting. She's in a completely new setting now, somewhere she did not want to be, but... She's there now, and I'm curious to see how she'll get out of this, how the book will continue, and I'm gonna go brush my teeth. My hair is looking good after that braid I slept in. And last night, in the evening, instead of reading, I spent like a little bit over an hour making a cat meme video. You know, those TikToks of cat memes like on a road trip or something, something. They're so fun to watch. I think I'm going to post on my TikTok. Should I do that? And I didn't read during the day, so I didn't record anything except for at night when we made pizza. And also read before bed, obviously. Here's me looking pretty shocked at what I just read. So let's see what I've got to say about this. The plot twists in this book are just keeping me hooked. I don't even know if it's possible to begin getting bored before bam, plot twist. Hey guys, last night was just 
such a fun night of reading. As I mentioned last night, there were so many plot twists in this damn book. So far, I think this will be a five star. Just loving it. Like, I cannot explain to you guys how fun this is. Plot twist after plot twist, and when there aren't plot twists, the plot is still progressing nice. And the humor, I was either giggling or I was slack jawed. Around 6 a.m. I woke up um, from a kind of weird nightmare dream and then to forget it I read another chapter of this. My mind was instantly occupied by this and then afterward the nightmare didn't even seem bad at all. Well, it wasn't exactly a nightmare but it was just like a pleasant weird vibe dream. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna end the video here. I'm talking kind of quietly because we're all like getting ready for bed even though it's only 10. I mean, I guess that's kind of normal time to go to bed but that's probably why I wake up so late. <laughs> I'm on page 262. And if you want some recommendations that are kind of similar to this, well, first of all, this series is so fun. I definitely recommend. And some other series that I feel like have a kind of similar vibe or theme is maybe Throne of Glass and Red Queen and maybe Defy the nights. I'm looking at my bookshelf right now like trying to see what else. But this series is basically like a blend between Arabian and Western. The theme for this is like Arabian and Western and it's a combination that you'd be like is it possible to like write it and pull it off? Yes! With this book series it is. I was surprised but it's actually very fun and those two like blend together perfectly in the series like in a way that you do not expect. Like she grew up in this desert which is like super big. It's just desert. Nothing else, just sprawling sands. And then also they have a factory that makes guns. <laughs> and having grown up in the town that's like right next to that factory, she didn't have toys to play with in her childhood, but she had guns. And she's like a very sharp shooter. Like she knows how to handle herself. And then for some reason, she has to like leave her town. I'm not gonna spoil. And there's also a different dude who's like helping her leave the town. And he's like a criminal in this country because he's from a different country. And he's like with the rebels. Okay, I'm gonna continue reading and I'm gonna go brush my teeth and stuff because I haven't done that yet But I hope you guys enjoyed this video It was definitely more focused on books than my reading vlogs usually are like usually my reading vlogs I include other snippets of my day or night or whatever But here I feel like I was mostly only recording things that were related to books So um, let me know what you guys thought of that Subscribe and I'll have my goodreads links down below so you guys can like stay tuned on when I finish this book And I'll leave a review on my goodreads on my socials are linked down below too. Also, question of the day, what is your favorite underrated book? Let me know because I love you guys' book recommendations and if you are looking for book recommendations, just check the comments. Bye!